kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you? More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the um, And your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kooka. You know, I'm a little more strict with what I'm I'm looking at. Uh, All right. So on here, you can come on in here. We can role play any type of situation that you want. Um, kind of go from there. We did have some of the somebody that I was going to have on here today. Um, unfortunately, could not make it. And so I had to pivot uh, in the last minute. Um, so with that being said, uh, somebody did say they wanted to bring up, you know, how do you bring up sub two or creative financing? I kind of already went over that a little bit, but basically all it is, is you're asking, Hey, if I could come up to your number, but we'd have you, but we'd have to do terms or make payments. They ask, well, what are terms? I, they'd say where well, we make payments on, on a monthly basis, because when we put out cash, it actually cost us money. Okay. Um, so with that being said, it's kind of like it's, it's either a seller finance or if you have an existing mortgage, we can take over your existing mortgage and do a down payment. You know, you kind of tailor it towards them because one of the questions you should always be asking is, is there a mortgage on the property? Do you have, do you currently still owe money on the property or do you owe it free and clear? You should always be asking that no matter what. So you need to always get that information out. Um, if they say, oh yeah, I, well, I don't know what that is. So that's no. Okay, great. I understand that. Um, but you know, keep in mind when we are doing a cash offer, it usually tends to be a, a lower offer because of that. When we can do a creative finance offer or a creative option, I, uh, we can usually come higher in price. So that's where we would come on terms and kind of, uh, make payments to you. So one question I always ask them as well as, is, is, so if I gave you the, the full ask what you did in cash, what would you do with it? Are you going to put it towards another property right now? Or are you going to put it in the bank? Are you going to put it in the stock market? Are you going to put it in the mattress? Uh, and just sleep on it. I mean, what are you going to do? Um, and if they say, well, I'm going to, I'm going to purchase another house. Okay, great. You know what? It sounds like creative option might not be for you. Um, but you know, if they say, if they turn around and say, well, I already have the place, bought." um, you know, I'm just going to stick it in the bank or do something like that. Okay. Awesome. Well, you know, when you sell on this, sell this property, if, because it's an investment, you're going to end up having to pay taxes, bring up the tax strategy where doing uh, a creative option on terms, they only pay taxes on what they get at that moment. So if we give you $10,000 for a down payment, you're only paying taxes on that $10,000 and then every monthly payment after that. And that's it at that time. So things like that. Um, those are a lot of good options that you have to bring up. Uh, a lot of this is going to be while you work or while you, as you go, you're going to see opportunities to insert all of this information. So you should have some sort of cheat sheet or some sort of uh, script off to the side. And I'm not saying you read off of a script word for word because they're not going to be reading off of a script 100%. You follow along with where they're at. Okay. What I mean by that is, is yes, you stick to your script, but you have to still be able to, you still have to know how to pivot. Okay. What I mean by that is, is okay, great. You see the cash option is not working. Pivot to creative option. 
if that ends up not working, pivot back to cash. And what I mean by that is I say, okay, well, it sounds like that's not going to be an option for you. Well, what we can do is we come up with a few different options. All right, we'll come up with a, a an offer for a few different options. But I, I have a question. Is, is something like going on the, on the market something for you? Because we might not be the best offer for you. And if that's the case, I do have a couple of friend, trusted realtor friends that are really great at what they do. They may be able to help you. Um, you just might end up having to put a little bit of work into the property. So uh, you you kind of talk with them, and let, let them know because, hey, this is, it, it's gonna, it's probably not gonna pass inspection as it is. Um, you If you put, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever the case may be, and you say, I'm just going by what you're saying, the property's condition is right now, okay? Oh no, I don't wanna put any work in there. I don't wanna put another dime in there. Okay, great. Well, let me see about my options. I'll see what I can do and come up with. And uh, we can kind of come up, you know, come up with a creative option and come up with an all cash offer. Okay. Now, do not give them their that option right then or don't give them the offer right then and there. But if you have, if you think it's worth going on an appointment, book an appointment. If not, try to run the numbers on based on what they said the condition is, okay, and what you think the budget will be. Now, keep in mind, if they say the condition is okay and it's good and it's only going to need $10,000 worth of work, budget double that. I'm sorry. It's, it, it's never that, all right? So you have to be realistic on the budget no matter what, all right? Um... But with that being said, run the numbers based on that, then give them the caveat, hey, I still got to walk through the property, but this is my this is a rough estimate of what I think we can offer. And you give them the creative option and then you give them the, uh, the cash offer, okay? If you can give them the cash offer and they're happy with it, great, move on. If you want the creative option, say, okay, sir, well, this is the terms that I think that that we can do. Oh, I don't want to pay 0% interest. I don't want you paying 0% interest, blah, blah, blah. The, the markets, the way they are, blah, 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 you know, this, that. Well, you, sir, uh, Mr. Seller, tell me exactly what would work for you. Okay, if you need higher interest rate, I, I, I might need, a, I need, the, the payment needs to be stay at the same. Okay. I still need to be able to cash flow. I hope you understand that. We're we're in here to make bit. We're in here to make money, and uh, we're here to, you know, have a business. It's not a charity. And you, as long as you keep the expectations on the fact that you're here as a business owner, then most homeowners are on that. As long as they are motivated they will understand the problem comes when you have a seller that is not motivated and they just want their price and they want it on all cash and no realtor commissions no nothing so you have to look at that um unfortunately i uh, that is a lot of sellers nowadays and that's where we have to start educating them. And where I, what I like to do sometimes is I'll pull up comps. Oh, sir, you know what? I saw this one sold for uh, all cash right down the street from you for $50,000. Oh, okay. I saw this flip went, went really, like it was fully done to the nines, everything um, right around the block for 110 and you're thinking the 100 you think i can sell it for 150 after it's all done i i i i can't see that this one sold for 110 and it was completely redone so you by educating them exactly what the market's doing okay 
I, you know, you let them know, hey, I can't take comps from last year. Just the, the market, the way it is, it's changing so fast. Um, that's just how it is right now. So um, I completely understand. Hey, if you don't want to sell, that's perfectly fine, too. You know, I, I'd hold on to it for a few more years and see what you can get out of it after that. But I definitely what I recommend instead of holding on to it and doing nothing with it, maybe put a little bit of money into it and try to get it rented out so it can bring you some income. Then you bring in and you let them know, hey, is there any other any place that I could be if, if they deny your offer? Say, is there any anything I can do to help you out right now? You know, I understand you didn't take my offer. I, you know, that's perfectly fine. Do you need help with anything? I'm truly just trying to see if I can help you in any way. Do you need a contractor's number? I, I can forward you. Do you need a, a realtor's number? I can forward you their number. Just try to be as helpful. The more you, you do that, the more when they do sell, they're going to call you back. And I've had that. I've had actually customer, I've had sellers reach back out to me a year later saying, okay, Randy, I'm ready to sell. I really only want to sell to you anyways, because you're very honest, transparent, and, and, you know, very, you were very helpful, you know, so I was extremely happy about that. So, um, I don't see any questions in the chat right now. Um, so with that being, with that being said, I think we're going to be ending the this, this stream. I did want to bring this back up for one more time. If you did want to get this calculator, okay. Um, if you did want to get this calculator, uh, you can go on my website. It's in the description. It's randysteadwell.com, just my name.com. It's under digital downloads. Okay. You get the, this is an Excel document. Okay. And you, so you get all four of these tabs. All right. And, uh, this, this is only $20, 1995. All right. This is the only way that I have where we can support the, the podcast at the moment. Um, I'm working on more. Uh, we do also, if you do need a, um, purchase agreement, and an assignment of contract, we do have those for sale on uh, on the website as well. If you buy the purchase agreement and the contract and put it in the uh, coupon code combo deal, you'll get 50% off of those when you buy both of them. Okay. Um, and again, this one's $19.95. It's, I, I made it very inexpensive for people. Uh, it's a very good calculator. Um, I, I wanted to have something where you can have it and you, it's not a subscription. Okay. There's a lot of subscriptions out there at the moment. And so I guess if you want to say that this podcast is being sponsored by our deal analyzer, then I guess it is. So um, with that being said, uh, I really appreciate everyone and taking their time out uh we did get a few views on here um anybody who is in the facebook group uh come join the facebook group if you're not uh you know check us out on the metro detroit off-market real estate group uh on facebook and we will get as much uh deals going and every let's all do deals together all right that's what i'm here for that's what we're trying to do and kind of take it from there all right with that one have a great day it was a great show and see you guys on the flip side we'll have we'll be here uh again in two weeks um not next monday but the monday after we're gonna have a guest on we definitely will have a guest as long as they don't keep canceling on me <laughs> i'm gonna definitely get uh get somebody on here next time all right so you guys are I know you're probably sick and tired of just hearing me talk. Have a good day and talk to you later. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room.